Gary, what are you doing? Oh, I didn't know you were rolling. Hey guys, since I'm busted and I'm looking at my favorite bait, baby brush hogs. Boy, I'll tell you, there's nothing like having these baby brush hogs at the lake. I guess I'm, I'm busted, so I'm gonna have to tell you how I fish these. Uh, you know, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite colors. There's certain colors I want instead of looking at this whole thing and buying 20 packs of these brush hogs. You know, there's some new brush hogs that just came out online this year. This is the baby brush hog, watermelon candy red. And uh, I'll just, nobody's looking, so I'll just take one out and show you what it looks like. So these are real, real pretty. They're a watermelon. They got black flake in there. They got purple in there. They're just looking really, really, really nice. This is one of my favorite brush hogs right here. Watermelon candy red. This is a brand new one, just came out a few months ago in the end of 2018. And in dirty water, I'll dip this tail in some, spike it. If it's in clear water, I'll fish it just like this. I'm fishing this Texas rigged. And uh, I'll show you once again how I Texas rig these. It's, uh, I use a tungsten weight and a bobber stopper. So this is one of my favorites right here. I always use baby brush hogs, watermelon candy red. Let me grab a few more down here. Here's another one, just plain watermelon red. These are just Zoom baby brush hogs. Here's another one of my favorite, watermelon candy. Just uh, simple brush hogs, but boy, I tell you, some of these just are great. They got 20 or 30 other brands here, and I'm sure you guys have used some of these other ones in dirty water, whether it be Okeechobee, black and blue, or back east, they would use a lot of black and blue. So let me uh, show you how I rig this. And then I'm gonna show you how I, how I fish this. I use a, uh, a quarter ounce tungsten weight. I use a bobber stopper to lock that down. And I use bobber stoppers just about everything. But that quarter, quarter ounce weight just pops right down on the brush hog. Then I move that down. Once in a while, I'll leave that bobber stopper a little ways up from there, and that way it'll let the bait float up like this. If the bait floats, it's really, really important that you leave that bobber stopper about an inch up like this. Because once it hits the bottom, then the weight just goes like this and the brush hog floats up. And uh, bass just go crazy with this. Let me tell you how I'm fishing this. I'm throwing this out maybe 10 feet off the bank. It's very cold right now. The bass are very lethargic. The water temperature dropped to 50 degrees. That may not seem like a lot back east, but here, oh my gosh, 50 degrees is devastating to these cold-blooded bass. They just don't wanna bite very good. They don't wanna chase lures. They don't wanna move very much. Sometimes I'll catch those bass, they're laying right on the bottom. They even have a little mud underneath on their belly, no joke. That's, that's the truth. Some of these guys will tell you that, you know. But this is just a real simple Texas rig processed. I'll just uh, take the brush hog, start with that. This is a one-odd hook. Sometimes I use two-odd. These are thin wire hooks from the Bass Pro Shop. I run that up just like that first. That's the first step I do. Then I, with my left hand, I hold the bait and the shaft of the worm and I'll make that straight and then I'll just hook that right in there like that. Slide that down. There's my bait right there. That's how I use them. And in dirty water, like I said, I'll spike the tail with the chartreuse garlic. If it's in clear water, I'll try it first without the spike and then I'll go to that. I want you to throw that out there. Let it sit for a while. Don't even move it. Take up your line and hold it steady. That way, if a bass is looking at it, he's decided whether he wants it and he's gonna eat it right away. Or if he's looking at it, after about the count of five, I want you to just pull it just a little bit, just nudge it. And that thing will just nudge forward like a crawdad. And if the bass hasn't eaten it and he's looking at it, he's gonna suck that up just like that. Nudge it again and then if you feel it heavy, set the hook. If you don't get anything, reel it back up, throw it again. Remember you gotta fish 10 to 12 feet off the bank in 12 to 15 feet of water. That's landing that bait 
right on that bass's head. That's where you want to be. You don't want to be throwing it in one foot of water or two foot of water. They're not there. They're, there might be, but they're most of them, 99% of them, are in 12 to 15. Work that back out to 15, 18 feet of water. And if you don't get any, I, I just reel it up and throw it back out to another place. That's how I work my brush hogs. Thanks for watching my videos, and I hope this tip helps you.